Welcome to BV Storytime. Do you want to read this book with me? Don't forget to click the subscribe button for more. Little Polar Bear and the Brave Little Hare, by Hans de Bia. Lars, the little polar bear, lived at the North Pole. Most of the time, he was all by himself. He liked to sit on the top of a hill. He looked out across the ice and snow to the sea. Usually, it was very quiet at the North Pole. Only the wind made a noise. But one day, Lars heard a loud cry. The sound came from a deep hole. Slowly, Lars crept closer. His heart thumped. He leaned forward over the edge. Down below sat a little hare. He was white like Lars. He shivered with fear. "Hold on, I'll help you," called Lars. "I'll kick down a pile of snow." The little hare climbed up on the snow. He was still scared. "Don't be afraid," said Lars. "Now everything is better." The hare was named Hugo. Lars and Hugo started to play. They played tag. But Hugo was too fast for Lars. Then Lars slid down a steep slope. Hugo didn't dare do that. "You aren't a scaredy cat," laughed Lars. "You are a scaredy hare." Then Lars slid down again. He wanted to show Hugo that he was a brave polar bear. It started to snow. Hugo said, "When it snows, I have to go home. My parents said so." That is too bad," said Lars. "I will walk home with you." They walked for a long time. "Where are we?" asked Hugo. "We are almost home," said Lars. But he wasn't quite sure. It was snowing hard. They could not see a thing. Lars said, "I know what to do. We must build a pile of snow to protect us from the wind." My father taught me how to do that. Finally, it stopped snowing. The wind had blown away their pile of snow. Everything looked different. Where are we? cried Hugo. Now we'll never find our way home, Lars said. Do not worry. I've been lost many times, and I always find my way back home. But it is getting dark, said Hugo. Then we will look again tomorrow, said Lars. We will make another pile of snow, and when it is light, we will find our way home. Even Lars was scared of the dog without his parents, but he did not say that. A loud clanking noise woke Lars the next morning. "What is that?" asked Lars. Something rattled through the snow in front of him. Lars looked around. Where was Hugo? Hugo was hiding in the snow. Come out, you scary hare! Called Lars. That was only a car. Driving to the research station, my father often goes there to find something to eat. I know the way home from there. Follow me. See," said Lars proudly. There is the station. Hugo did not like the station. You scary hare," said Lars. Let's find something to eat. Hugo said, "Let's just go home." I am not hungry, but I am," said Lars. They waited until the car was gone and everything was quiet. Behind the station, they found some leftover vegetables. Lars and Hugo had a picnic on a nearby hill. Lars said, "I want to go down there again and take a look around. You can wait here." Lars climbed up on crates to the roof. He saw a hole. It was not a door. And it was not a window. It smelled funny. He could hear noises. What was inside? Lars leaned forward, and then something happened. He would go wait on the hill. He wanted to go home. What was taking Lars so long? Lars had leaned over too far. He fell down the hole. Had first, luckily, he landed on a soft chair. He was in a dark room. He saw strange blinking lights. He heard peeps and hums. It was very hot. Lars was scared. 
Now Lars wanted to go home too. Lars had only one thought: How can I get out of here? He wandered through the dark hallways, but all the doors and windows were shut. Outside, Hugo heard the car coming back. He had to warn Lars. What should he do? Lars heard the car too. He saw a man get out. Where should he hide? His heart beat wildly. I have to warn Lars, thought Hugo. So he gathered all his courage, and ran to the station. But he was too late. The man was already at the door. Hugo climbed up to the roof. He heard noises coming from the hole. Lars is in there, thought Hugo. I must save him. I have to make the man look at me, so he won't see Lars. Hugo kicked some snow down the hole. The man looked up. What is happening on the roof? Said the man. He went to get a ladder. The man did not see Lars. The man had left the door open. Lars was free. On the roof, the man was talking to himself. What is a hare doing up here? He wanted to help Hugo get down, but Hugo did not know that Hugo was very scared. Now everything happened very fast. Lars called, "Come down, Hugo! I am out!" Then Hugo ran. He dashed between the man's legs and jumped from the roof into the soft snow. Lars ran too. He bumped into the ladder and knocked it down. The man saw a polar bear running away with the hare. What a funny sight! Hugo was much faster than Lars, but Lars was so scared that he could not stop running. Wait for me! He called Hugo. He was out of breath. Let's rest," said Hugo. "You don't need to be scared now. We're almost home." Lars was embarrassed. "You were very brave," said Lars. "You saved me. Now you can call me a scaredy bear." Hugo said, "I was not brave. I just did what I had to do." After that day, Lars and Hugo were best friends, and Lars has never again called Hugo a scaredy hare. Hi everyone! Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you all enjoyed the story. If you like it, please give a thumbs up or share it, and remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new videos. Have a great day, and see you in my next video.